Welcome everybody to another episode of Dan the Bugman Pest Control Stuff. In this video, I'm about to get straight into it, but I'm gonna show you exactly how termites are getting from the ground up into your house. But that's not the only thing that we have in this video. If you check the description, there will be timestamps of all the other sections of this video. Now this could be anything I discover, from crazy infestations to tips and pest control information that you might need to know one day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to show you exactly how termites go from the ground up into your house. Okay, lots of spider webs. Okay, we're inside. Um, I can already see a bunch of termite stuff. So let me go ahead and show you. There's the entrance right there. Okay, these tunnels are termite tunnels. So they probably came in from the ground right here and then they, they just make these tunnels up to the wood and then they start feeding in the wood. So let's go ahead and break these open and show you hopefully there are live termites inside. And as I'm looking, there's definitely a bunch of tunnels over there that way too. So we're gonna go check those out after this. I just noticed on the door, there's actually tunnels on the door right here. So see that? Those are termite tunnels. But this is a big one right here. So hopefully there's some in there. Can you guys see that? So here's the tunnel right here. And I'm just gonna scrape it and see if there are any live termites inside. And if there are, we will show you them. I didn't see any termites there. There is a live spider here. One purpose of the tunnels for the termites is to protect them from other predators like that spider. Okay, so that tunnel did not have any live termites in it, but it's an important lesson to know that just because a tunnel doesn't have live termites in it doesn't mean there's not an active colony. There's definitely an active colony in this house. They are just not currently eating on this piece of wood. So when someone says, oh, well, why, do, why aren't there live termites? The termites, they can eat whatever area they want. On Mondays, they might eat this area of the wood. And on Wednesdays, they might go over here and eat this other piece of wood. Let's go over to the next cool part of this termite experience. So what I'm about to show you right here is a termite tunnel that the termites have gone through the wood. And once they're in the wood, sometimes they want to go back down into the ground. So they make this tunnel that goes straight down into the ground. So let's go over here a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so this tunnel, see, look at it. It's just completely suspended in the air. So these tunnels are pretty strong. Go ahead and break it off and see if there's any live termites inside. So yeah, nothing live inside of it. But see how, how brittle this is? And it's pretty dry but that just means that it's probably not being used for the past few weeks. Any tunnels that are currently being used are gonna be kind of wet, kind of moist, because the termites need it to help keep the moisture inside. Let's go ahead and go over to the big tunnels I see right behind me. There will almost certainly be some live termites inside this one, okay? Okay, look at these bad boys. These are thick ones, and I am covered in spider webs right now. So if you enjoy this video, please give me a like because if not, then I'm just recording this and getting spider webs all over me for nothing. You guys see how dark this one is at the bottom here? And then it gets a little lighter. They want it to be dark to keep the moisture inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just peel off pieces of this tube and there will be live ones. I almost guarantee it. Okay, baby, we found some. Check it out. Focus. Those are Eastern subterranean termites. <laughs> Let's see if we can get any more out of this tunnel. I know there's some up here. So notice how these tunnels almost just randomly wander up the wall. Termites are actually blind, so they can't see where they're going. These termites just make these tunnels back and forth just looking for wood to eat. And that's what they eat. They actually eat wood. They consume it. There's a chemical in wood called cellulose that they use for energy. And these termites can rebuild these tunnels in just a matter of minutes. I've done jobs before where I tear down the tunnel, go inside to talk to the homeowner, and then come back and the tunnels are already halfway built back. It's pretty crazy how fast they can do it if they're really feeding on a piece of wood. 
under? Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of tunnels. Have you been under here? No. No? Okay. Um, you see the these little lines right here? There, there, and then here and here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the, that's the mud tubes, shelter tubes. The termite colony just makes them up and they go up to the wood, but there's a bunch of tunnels, but it doesn't look like there's any major damage. They haven't really gotten onto like this yet. They're kind of just chilling over there. Um, sometimes I'll, you know, if it's bad, you could, you could poke your hole through some of this wood, but I don't think you're going to need to replace anything. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the first time I've ever seen them. <clears throat> I didn't know what the hell it was at first. And yeah. Got on Google and thought that was it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they can be a big deal, but it looks, you know, pretty early enough. I haven't caused any major damage. Yeah, the Ford, uh, Ford flies. Long story short, this is a very dirty kitchen. And then you can see the larva down in there. Now, specifically, as you can see, the dishes have sat in the sink for an extended period of time. This has created okay. the perfect <laughs> environment for a species that I believe is forward flies. Now, if you are a professional and can help me identify, I'm pretty sure these are forward flies. If you think they're a different species, let me know. Just drop a comment down below. They might be fruit flies, but I'm pretty sure they're forward flies. These flies have infested this person's kitchen. So I'm about to zoom in on these fly larvae. Now the larva, they're little bitty, they're little skinny worms that are wiggling in the water. You see those little wiggly guys just going loo, 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 loo. Those are forward fly larvae. They lay their eggs in this water. Eggs hatch into the larva. The larva then continue to develop and then when they're ready to hatch, they hatch again into the adult flies. I don't know how the person was living with so many flies. When I closed the door to leave this person's home, I even noticed all the forward flies were like escaping through the cracks around the doorways. You can see the little flies up in the corner. And that was pretty crazy to me too. Almost all pest control problems are really caused by humans. That seems to be the recurring theme of this channel, that sometimes people are just nasty. And the reason those flies are there is because that person hasn't done their dishes in, he said a couple weeks, but I, I suspect it's probably closer to a month. One thing that was also pretty funny to me was whenever I walked in, he was like, yeah, the flies, they're just around like the doors and windows. He was implying that they were just coming inside from the doors and windows and that they weren't his fault that there were so many flies. He was implying that they were coming in through the doors and windows, which is just not true. The reason a lot of bugs are around doors and windows is because once they get inside, they want to try to get outside because that's where they live naturally is outside. And they went towards the doors and windows, which is where the light is coming in. Yeah, those flies are not coming in through the doors and windows. They're obviously breeding in the dishes and he needs to clean them. So I didn't spray anything today. I will hardly ever spray anything on a on a job like that. What I did do, I left him with a couple of gnat fly stations just to say that I did something. But of course that's not gonna solve the problem. The only way that problem will be solved is if those dishes are clean. So if you know any good dishwashers around, send them over that way and maybe that guy can help. All right guys, even though it is a nasty rainy day today, there are still wasp nests under eaves that are sheltered from the rain. And one of our jobs is to remove them as pest control technicians because no one likes having wasp nests by their door. Um, for example, this one right up here, it is still April, so they're not currently active. But I go ahead and knock it off and it drops to the ground. See all these little caverns? That's where the wasps lay their eggs normally and their larvae grow up inside there and then they hatch out. Um, as you can see, those are currently empty. But a lot of times in the summer when there are larvae inside, one good thing to do is just go ahead and step on them just to make sure that there's no live ones left. So that should about take care of them right there. The termites, they release these swarmers in the springtime when it gets warm. Swarmers are just regular termites with wings and have a harder exoskeleton. So these are the ones that are meant to leave the colony and they're meant to go out and start a new colony somewhere else. And that's why they have wings so they can fly away. 
All right, guys, here is the pest control question Look of the day. Do you consider slugs and snails to be pests? A lot of people do, but I personally don't. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.